Hello, hello. So I just got these in the mail. I kickstarted this. These are called uh, glue loopers. This is the V3, which is made for thick glue from Creative, Creative Dynamic LLC. I, uh, I'm not affiliated with these guys. You know, I just backed it on Kickstarter. It's a clever idea. If you've ever tried to use uh, E6000 before, uh, you can use the little tiny plastic bag method where you, you know, put it in the corner of a plastic bag, cut it off and spread it out like that, but it's pretty clumsy. So I'm excited about this device thing. Yep. It'll fit most hobby knife handles, they say. Uh, the package that I backed on Kickstarter came with this, um, this green hobby knife handle, which I'm digging. I'll just use this for the applicator because I keep a blade on the other one. This is my beloved blade in Dutrix, Constable Wiggins, and one of the struts is damaged right there. See, makes a rattle sound and I'm concerned that another one's gonna break and then this motor's gonna do something wild. So let's get it fixed with some E6000 and a glue looper. So first we're gonna get out the E6000. I use a little bit of a cutout from old uh, plastic bags that you get from drugstores, grocery stores, things like that. Uh, they usually just sit around in my house and this is a good reuse of them. Just get a dollop out of the E6000 and it does bubble over. If someone has a solution to keep it from doing that, I mean, I know it's a metal thing, but it heats up a little bit and it's hard to get it to stop. Stop. All right. Next, you're gonna wanna remove one of the loopers from uh, this card. These are reusable and if they become clogged with glue, they recommend that depending on the type of glue, uh, for cyanoacrylates, crazy glues, you use fire to unclog them, or um, if it's uh, a non-CA glue, I guess E6000 maybe, you could use a nail polish remover, I haven't tried that. And if it's a white glue, warm water. But these are reusable. Once you've got it out, you then bend the ears over, like so, bends either way. And we're going to put it in the handle. Magic! You want to make sure that the glue is a, you know, a good height. This is pretty good right here. And then you drag it from front to back to load the applicator. That's cool! Now you can get it into the space you need because it's so small and get your glue in there. I got some Kim wipes that I'm gonna try this with. I think it's gonna work fine. Cool. It's already clean. And that's how you use the uh, Glue Looper V3, the thick looper. If this was helpful, um, subscribe or something. I don't know. Do your thing. Now I'm gonna let it dry. And, uh, well, alright. Look at that. Video's over.